Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Trainer Connor. We're here again with another Wi-Fi battle video. We're facing with Necro Stevo, one of my long-time rivals. I am very happy to battle this guy right here. He's been giving me really awesome matches for several years, around three years. So, you know, this battle right here is going to be epic, right? Right. Today we're going to be trying out some new Pokemon like a defensive Jellicent, Valentina, and some other Pokemon like, you know, Staropter and all those guys. Brand new stuff. Here we go. So I knew he was going to probably start with Megos or something like that. So I started out with Valentina earlier. I knew that, like, Valentina is going to be very useful in this match, just saying. I wanted to have this traveling here to focus on my Magna Zone. I am a choice best Magna Zone, so I'm locking on Flash Cannon. But if I can get rid of this traveling, then things would be a whole lot easier. Because traveling can probably take a few hits from my Jellicent and vice versa. And plus, he was my starter, except for flying type moves, but. That's neither here nor there. The point is, if I can get rid of this Trevenant, it's going to be awesome. Now, he could have brought in Metagross on any of those turns there, but he doesn't. In fact, he actually just brings it in anyway, so. And for Metagross, I'm going to go back into Valentina. And then I realized, oh, wait, this is not a Metagross. This is a Zoroark in disguise. I didn't know that. <laughs> just saying, I guess. So I know he's going to probably switch out into Danelia, which is his Forges, so I take that as a great opportunity to bring in Clara. This is a little bit different from my other Clefable that I have, nicknamed Loviera, but Clara is the one with Thunder Wave. The other one does not have Thunder Wave. So I take these turns to set up Calm Minds, and then I knew he was going to probably switch out into Metagross, and that's kind of unfortunate, really, because I'm not going to get an attack off. What I decided to do was paralyze the Metagross, because then he'll not be very fast, and I can utilize my Jellicent a little bit more. And you're probably thinking, why is Jellicent so important in this match? Well, it's just that main factor for this fight. He's my, he's my win condition, that's all I'm saying. Now, unfortunately for me, he has Bullet Punch, and that was a 50-50. If he got paralyzed, then I would hit him really hard. But it doesn't matter, because I revealed to him that I have Hets. And Hets is that awesome move that I thought would be not very useful, but it works out here. It's going to one-shot that right period. Actually, not. The Mergos. Excuse me. Gosh darn it. But Rapierre, though, he has a Lumberry. So yeah, Hets, I was talking about. Hets over a Shadow Ball, it might not be the best situation, but like I said, it worked out pretty well. So we take out Mergos, and then we can take out Rapierre. Yes, he does set up Stealth Rocks, but to be honest with you, I, I mean, I don't have a Spinner, but to be honest with you, I actually don't care about the Stealth Rocks. Now he brings a Diggersby, and that's another problem for this team, I gotta say. I thought it was Choice Banded, but all along it has to be something else. I'll just say that for now, and we'll see what item he has. Spoilers, I don't know what he has, but I know it's not Choice Banded. All that aside though, I bring in Conconuncus, which is my Icicle Spear mammal swine, which I don't know about you guys, but I think Icicle Spear works out pretty well on Shell Smash Cloister, but not on Mammal Swine. I don't know why. You figure that Icicle Crash should be a lot better, but, well, you know, it's, it's, it's a good idea to try things out. And if it doesn't work, then we'll go with a stronger move, like Earthquake, for instance. So, I realized, okay, this is not going to work out. I'm going to go back into Magnus Zone for that typing matchup. Because I know he's going to protect or something like that. 
And no, he's gonna probably wish to stall me. And that's what he's going to do, I guess. That's not fun. I'll say that for sure. Super test again. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go for flash can, and that's the move that I'll go for for the time being. I know he's gonna probably go for another wish as I go down right here. But you know what? I have my Star Raptor still in the back. And I know that a reckless Star Raptor can one shot a Forges at that HP level. I'll say that. Okay, I probably should stop saying that. But anyways, you see here that Forges is going to get all of his HP back and I'm going to go down right here. That is fine, I guess. Yeah, I I mean, yeah, it's, it's great, it's great. That means that I get free switch in the squadron. Squadron, the choice banded reckless star raptor. And there you go, I was right all along. Just having a double edge just KO. I wasn't sure what Dirty Speed was going to do, but I knew that it might go for a normal type move. So we'll go, oh wait a minute, it's not Diggersby, what the heck, it's a Zoroark again. Well, let's see how we can do. Oh, I live with 1 HP, that is how intense this battle is, guys. My goodness. So I get to recover all that HP back, and at this point, really, it's good game, because if he's going to keep on sucker punching, then I don't have to attack him. I'll just go for the... Will-O-Wisp plus the Recover combination can not only rack up damage on that Zoroark there, who looks like just like a digger speed there, but that is a great combination. I'll say that. Alright. He goes for another Sucker Punch, and that does over half. That is a strong Zoroark there. We're going to take him out right here. Striker, you're gone. So goodbye to your illusions. And now I know he's going to probably bring in Diggersby. The real Diggersby, in fact. And just go with an Earthquake. Yes. I was a little bit curious to see if I could live it, but he gets quick like. So unfortunately, I'm not going to burn it. And that's unfortunate. Here I knew he was probably choice banded. So I'm like, okay, we can put some ice charge shenanigans on and then he goes for return so I'm not sure what item he has because I know that quick attack will not well actually it will kick out squadron I knew that maybe a quick attack would not KO my Darmanacan because Darmanacan has large HP but guess what we take out Digger's B and that was Necro Steve slash Pokemon that is the end of an epic fight there you go Thank you, Necrostevo, for that match. If you enjoy this Wi-Fi battle, hit that like button. And I will come at you with another Wi-Fi battle here next week. Alright, you guys. Have a great week. I'll talk to you real soon. Goodbye.